lighting is good. I'm using my natural lighting, but it's kind of cloudy out today, so it's kind of a vibe. I don't know. Okay, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another book video, but this one is very exciting because I'm gonna give you, or I'm gonna name you off every single book I own. Filmed this video two days ago. I got these little bookshelves from Target. They were like $25, but what happened was I got one and I kind of just shoved all my books in there and I filmed me like organizing it and doing it, but then I stepped back and it didn't look right at all. So I was like, okay, maybe I need a second one. I'm gonna need a second one anyway because it's kind of small. It didn't fit all my books the way I wanted to. So I got a second one. It looks so much better. I wanna show you kind of what it looks like. So that's it like under my TV. I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I decided to put all my books the way I like it, kind of decorate the top, whatever. And we're just gonna go through all of them. I don't have them in a specific, like, organized way like I wanted to. I wanted to do, like, genre with genre, kind of like that. But I put it in a way where all the hardcovers are together and then, like, some are, like, colored. Like, this is a white section. This is, like, a dark section. Like, I don't know the way I organized it, but this is what we got. I have some books at my schoolhouse, which I took a picture of it before I left for Thanksgiving break. I didn't bring them home with me, but I'll read them off the books that I have there. And then I also have my Kindle, which I feel like I should tell you guys what books I have downloaded on here, what I've read and haven't read and stuff like that, because this is just as much my book collection as my actual book. So before I start, I want to tell you guys about Folio. If you've watched my previous book video, you have heard of them or seen what they have sent me, but they are a female founded indie book shop offering a curated collection of today's busiest books which is amazing they have so many options on there so i have layla which i have clearly read kiss quotient normal people which i also have just read and then the invisible life of Addie larue which is on my tbr list kind of like towards the top i'm definitely gonna read this soon i also received some really cute stickers their logo feed your mind and then just like folio just their name and also this tote that i have been putting in the stuff that i kind of like read my books my highlighters are in here little notebooks in there and then I, when i bring my book places to read i put that in there and then this very cute t-shirt that says reading is sexy so i just like kind of leave that there and it says reading is sexy which is kind of fun and cute but basically they strive to reignite a love for reading back in women who fell out of step with it by connecting them with their next perfect read which is so fun basically take a short quiz on their website and then they'll narrow down their book selection and their book collection even further so that you find a book that's personalized to you they think that finding a book shouldn't be hard which it shouldn't and they'll match you to one that you'll actually like it's also perfect because we're right around the holiday season so you can gift it to someone that's fallen out of love with reading you know you want to give that back to them or for yourself which is even more fun so you can use my code everything will be in the description all of this information i just want to say like literally right before i started filming this i uploaded a vlog and Haley fam commented on it i have been watching her since she was doing dance vlogs and convention videos and stuff like that because when i was dancing like i watched her because we like had that in common and now we're both doing book videos and stuff like that i don't know it's so cool she commented and then i posted it on my story and she replied to it and we had a very 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 short combo but it's literally just so so cool and she said she watches my book video so if you are watching hello i know this angle isn't getting like the whole setup but i'm just gonna like pull them out put them back in tell you what books they are so we're gonna start with the ones that are at my schoolhouse so i took a picture of them before i left so that i can tell you what i have there so i have the love hypothesis from book of the month and then the bottom two from book of the month i have not read yet but it's rock paper scissors by alice feeney and then the neighbor's secret by l allison heller so those are just three that I have right there and then in this little bookshelf are all mine So I have The Deal by Elle Kennedy that's part of the off-campus series Which I have the other three here The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand Archer's Voice, Mia Sheridan Sharp Objects by Jillian Flynn I have not read that yet I heard it's really good, I loved Gone Girl so probably will like it Then Someone We Know, Shari Lapina, Something Borrowed, Emily Giffen Which I think is a movie I have not read that book but I've had it for so long Watch Me Disappear by Janelle Brown, I have not read that and Then my mom gave me this book, I didn't read it yet But it's called The Cathedral by Nelson DeMille I think. And then the second book in the Paradise series by Ellen Hildebrand. I didn't read the second one yet. I read the first one, but it's a trilogy. But that is everything that's in my schoolhouse that I have to eventually bring back and put into these shelves, but they are there right now. Start with the book that I am currently reading that is not in the bookshelf because I am reading it but this is someone exactly like me by demi Romack. so she sent me this book and it's a slow burn and stuff like that and i've been reading it i'm on page 44 i literally just started it it's definitely a good break because i just read normal people by sally rooney and if you've read that it's definitely not an upbeat book this is definitely a good transition now into the bookshelf oh i also have books that i have lent my friends that i wrote down to make sure to tell you guys because that is part of my collection as well love in other words one of my favorite books absolutely ever it ends with us by colleen hoover november 9th by colleen hoover and confess by 
Ali Nuber, then Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty, Hypnotist Love Story by Leanne Moriarty, The Secrets in Summer by Nancy Thayer. I think that's it. So those are the books that I don't have with me that aren't at my schoolhouse that aren't here and that have been lent out to friends. Now we can get started. Four books, they're just like, like this. The top two are Colleen Hoover books and then the bottom two are just Emily Henry books. So when I get back the three Colleen Hoover books that I have, I'm gonna add them to this little pile. I think I wanna get all of Colleen Hoover's books because I have a bunch on my Kindle, but I really wanna get them all in paperback so that I can put them in their own little section because that's what they deserve. Starting off with the two that I have, Layla, which I literally just read, which will be in my what I read in November and then All Your Perfects. I read that like a month ago. And then I have the two Emily Henry books. I love their covers. That's why I like put them there like on a little display with only four of them in that little section because I just love, I don't know it's the colors. I just love the design of this book. But I have People We Meet on Vacation and Beach Read. I read this one over the summer and then I read this one a year ago, like the summer before this one. I loved this one a lot better than this one, but they're both so good. And then as I said down here, I just left that there because I thought it was cute. And then I just throw my Kindle on top of it. So that's like her little section, which I feel like is cute. I don't know why. Into this section, this is like the dark. They're not all in the same genre, but most of them are like thrillers because I feel like those covers are just dark. A Thousand Splendid Suns by Khalid Khalid Hassini. Hassini. I don't know. I got this sent to me. I did like a book. I don't know what it was called. Like a book train type of thing. Like you send someone your address and they send you a book and then they like pass on that message and it like keeps going. I did it on Instagram last year. This is one of the ones that I got. I have not read it yet. I don't even know what it's about. Then The Sea of Lost Girls by Carol Goodman. This is a thriller. I hated this book like so much. It was not good. And then my two favorite thrillers ever, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Gillian Flynn? I still don't know which one it is. And The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. They're both movies. Don't watch The Woman in the Window. Whatever you do, just don't watch it. It is so bad. Then I have This Is Where It Ends by Marieke Nijkamp. I don't know how to say that. This, my friend lent me. I didn't read it because it's about a school shooting and I don't think I'm mentally prepared to read this because that's just like very heavy and I just have not read this yet. I could only fit two hard covers next to it. These ones were like the dark ones. So this is from Book of the Month, the X-Hex. I didn't get to read this. I feel like I have to read it in October because there's like a witch on it and it's about, I'm pretty sure, like a girlfriend who has like a spell on her boyfriend or something like that. And I feel like I like completely missed the season to read this. So next October, maybe I'll get around to it. I know that's a long time from now, but I just feel like it's too late to read it. And then another Book of the Month book, Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart. I've actually seen this, I don't know if it was on TikTok. Someone read it and said it was good. Something about a murder. I don't know. Apparently it's really good. Definitely gonna read that when I get back into the thriller and mysteries and stuff but I'm just not in the mood for these right now. Down here, most of these are book of the month, but not all of them. The top one is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, The E. Schwab. I need to get to this. Everyone is telling me to read it, and it's like a love or hate. Like, some people love this book, and some people hate it, so I don't know what which side I'm gonna be on. Apparently, it's really, like, slow to get into. All right, and then these are the book of the month ones. The Will Smith, I think this is a memoir. It's his book. The Book of Magic by Alice Hoffman from Book of the Month. But I actually really love the cover. This one's actually, like, I don't know, I love that. Okay. Oh, I really want to read this one. I love Liam Moriarty. If you've ever read any of her books they're just very like i don't know i love them so much but this one is apples never fall this is more of like a mystery thriller kind of book i'm pretty sure and she i don't think she's ever read i mean written one of those from, from what i know another book of the month a little hope by ethan joella i also like this it's very fall how to marry kinu reeves in 90 days by km jackson this one i saw in barnes and noble i think i saw it on tiktok too that this has gone around a bit it's a contemporary romance and i love the cover of this like so much last two which there's one right here in this section that i had to read for school over the summer I took a summer course. I don't know what class it was, but some type of history of America and this was Capitalism in America. It's a very hefty book. I didn't finish it, but that's that. And then I also had to get this graphic novel about Alexander Hamilton, literally like a comic book that I had to read for class as well. That wasn't fun. I don't love history. I don't like nonfiction books. I don't like learning through books. I like enjoying a book and learning new things about like people and life. I don't know how to explain it. I don't like nonfiction. You cannot catch me reading nonfiction for fun. So that's why I read those because it was for school. Moving down this way to those four cubes. This was like the first bookshelf that we just finished. We're starting here. This is like the light books. You can see how they're kind of like white. They go into like blue. Over here you can't really see that well, but they're kind of blue over there. Just because I had to fill up the shelf. So this is another one that I got from the book I did on Instagram where people sent me books. This is another one that I got sent to me. The memoir by Dr. Edith Eva Eager. All of the choice. Embrace the possible. I haven't read this. And then this also was sent to me from the book thing I did. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. I actually really, really, really liked this book. I think more young adult, easy read like that, but I feel like it has good lessons, life lessons in there. It's just like a contemporary literature, like there's romance in it, but it's not like based on that. The Infamous We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Hated this book with like everything in me. And I was getting like so angry when everyone is 
The thing is, when someone hates the book that I love, I get upset. But when someone also loves the book I hate, I also get upset. Hated this book. And then another one that I very much disliked was In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. Saw this all over TikTok. I gave it a chance because whenever I see something on TikTok, book talk, I have to read it. And um, this one was a big flop. And then another Leanne Moriarty, Nine Perfect Strangers. This was made into a show and usually shows are just so, so bad when coming from a book or even movies. Personal opinion. But this one, the show is so good. Nicole Kidman is the main lady, of course and then what's her name she's in it i love her so much there's a bunch of good actors and they're such good actors i recommend reading the book first and watching the show because the show is a little bit a little different it's not like on point with the book but it's still like a good show then the last six silent patient by alec michaelides i think you say it so this is another thriller that i have read that i have thoroughly enjoyed temporary romance one day in december by josie silver this one i read a while ago i actually put it down for a few months and then went back to it i recommend reading it maybe closer to now because look at the cover very winter-esque maybe read this in december let me this one a shot i feel like i don't see this one very often it's very good little fires everywhere by celeste ing i did not like this book i didn't see it in the same way that other people saw it and i also hated the show i feel like they changed it so much from the book i just really didn't like this ellen hildebrand i love ellen hildebrand but i feel like i only gear towards her books when it is summer because they're usually taking place on nantucket or usually just vacation kind of books so this one is here's to us this one was very slow i didn't like it that much but it was definitely a good beach read the last two the song of achilles by madeline miller so this book i have a book vlog a reading vlog a little bit further down on my channel that i did maybe like a couple months ago i didn't love it but i can see why people love it and are attached to it and stuff it just wasn't for me i didn't connect to it the way other people did and then i have normal people by sally rooney that i just read and i'm currently watching the show i'm on episode 10 of 12 i've been binging it i mean i'm gonna talk about it in my what i read in november but the show just captures the book so on point never gone from a book to a show or a movie where it's so so on point down here can you see that they're kind of a few standing up and then a few a little tilted over I thought that was a little cute. The ones that are leaning, do those first. Again, they're not like all genres that go together and stuff. They're just like, this is the way I just liked it. One of my favorite series. The fourth one, like I said, is at school, but this is the off-campus series. The Score, The Mistake, and The Goal by L. Kennedy. I really liked this. Talked about it in what I read in October. The first two were in that one, and the last two are going to be in what I read in November. Then Penelope Douglas, Punk 57. This is my first book by her. It wasn't my favorite plot and character, storyline, anything like that. But I read Birthday Girl after this, and I liked it so much better, like understanding her writing but this one just wasn't my favorite and then my friend actually let me borrow this one paper towns by john green i never read this but i'm pretty sure it's a movie or a show i never really reached for it and now it's just like sitting in my bookshelf i never give it back there's just three standing up right here and these are three that i probably will never touch so this is called etched in the sand by regina calcutara i was in a child development class and we were learning about child neglection and just it was a really sad sad class and we had to choose a book off of a list and this is the one i picked never ended up finishing it but it's like based off a true story then i have have the same class that I had to get the Capitalism and the Alexander Hamilton book. I also had to get this one, The Half Has Never Been Told by Edward E. Baptist. This one is also a very thick one. When I have to read for class, I hate it. Like so much also, like when I'm told to read the book, I just don't want to do it. And then this one I bought years ago and actually just never read it and now it's just like ripped up from being thrown everywhere. But This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher. I think it's a young adult like mystery kind of book, but I just never got to it. And I probably honestly never will. Now we have these last two. The bottom one it's just a more book of the month books i like to keep them together because they all look good together and they're all like hardcover and stuff and then my little mini books that i love so much like the small versions of books and then a few contemporary romances and you'll see these book of the month books that i'm about to show you i have not read yet but i'm just read off the names of them harlem shuffle by colson whitehead i like the cover of this all the book of the month book covers are just like i love them the perishing by natasha dion the collective by allison galen i like that cover too the sweetest remedy by jane igaro this one's a really really thick one this is The Lincoln Highway by Amor Towels. The Family by Naomi Kropitsky. The Keeper of the Night by Kylie Lee Baker. Emrata's, I think it's an autobiography, I'm not sure, but it's called My Body. And then The Beautiful Country by Kian Julie Wang. I think that's how you say it. It's a memoir. Okay, so I don't know if this is like an all around thing or just my preference, but when I see a smaller version of a book, I get it. I love the small versions, which I feel like a lot of people don't like them. This is Same Beach Next Year by Dorothy Benton Frank. Lauren and I picked this book up because we thought we would like it and it's very slow. Not a lot happens. Then I got this one for my friend. She also gave it to me. I never read it. It's Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. But I watched the movie years ago when it came out. I feel like that was so long ago. And it was one of the only movies that made me cry. So I feel like this book would also make me cry. Don't remember what it's about. Two Ellen Hildebrand books, 28 Summers, which I loved 
so much this i read over the summer and i read it so so quick the second or the first in the winter or in the paradise series i read this one very good i have not gotten to the second or the third yet but very quick read pretty short i have to read the other two which i think i'm gonna save for i'm going to florida over christmas break and i think i'm gonna bring the other two with me because i feel like that'd be like a nice place to read the last two because again i feel like i have to read ellen's books in like warm weather the last three that i had on honeymooners by christina lauren i didn't love it it was good it was very entertaining i just it wasn't my favorite contemporary romance if you want to read a good one of hers read love and other words and read it now my favorite book ever but i didn't like this one and then the kiss quotient i haven't read yet this one's so popular i just haven't gotten to it yet it's by helen huang after we collided i have not read this i will not read it i read the fanfic or like i read it on wattpad years ago and then in my personal opinion i felt like it was taken too far when it was made into movies and books and i don't know not to like bash on anyone but i did not like it my friend gave me this to read and i literally just never touched it so those are all of my books that are back here now we're gonna go into my kindle a lot of people ask me if i like my kindle and if they think it's worth it and stuff like that there's definitely pros and cons to books versus like a kindle my favorite thing about the kindle though is like reading in bed so much easier because when you read a book it's like you have to keep a light on or use a little nightlight thing to read and then like you have to get comfortable holding the book while you're laying down like this is just so much easier to read with also traveling i know a lot of people like to bring books on vacations and stuff like that but like on a plane and stuff like you can bring books but like having this as well like on the plane like it's just so much easier to bring around with there's some that are kindle unlimited so free books i know verity was free that i read on here from lukov with love i just recently read was free the wall of winnipeg and me was free sweet oblivion i haven't read yet but i know that was free i just downloaded it you get discounts on a bunch of books so it could be like a 16 dollars book but you'd get it for like 12 dollars. so you're saving some money with it and it's just convenient but the only thing that i don't like is like sometimes i want the book version like i read ugly love on here verity and i want the book version so now i'm gonna have to buy that on top of like i bought ugly love and i want to get the paperback so you just have to pick and choose what books you want to read on here and what books you want as actual books so that's my spiel about the kindle but i'm just gonna read off all the books that i have read on here and the ones that i've downloaded on here this is also the kindle paperwhite i think it is when i got my kindle i was trying to figure out how to use it and how to download stuff so i just downloaded random kindle unlimited books that i have not read yet but these are them that birthday in barbados legacy the great gatsby an invincible summer three mrs rights and those are the ones that i downloaded and have not read just when i first got the kindle and then these are the ones that i have read verity by colleen hoover heart bones by colleen hoover regretting you by colleen hoover hope Bliss by Colleen Hoover. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The Hating Game. Favorite book ever. Seven Husbands. I gave it a two out of five, I think. I did not like it. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. That's like a book like seven husbands by her i didn't like but malibu rising i did so like i don't i don't know spanish love deception by elena armas i did not love that book but it's a good contemporary romance ugly love by colleen hoover birthday girl penelope douglas ugly love one of my favorite colleen hoover books um and then birthday girl was the one that i liked by penelope douglas punk 57 wasn't my favorite thousand boy kisses by tilly cole has a special place in my heart the selection series all three of them the wall of winnipeg and me by mariana zapata from lukov with love by mariana zapata and then these ones i did not read yet the cheat sheet by Sarah Adams, Too Late by Colleen Hoover, and The Sweetest Oblivion by Danielle Laurie, which I want to read very soon because a lot of people are saying they love the mafia types of romances, so I want to try one out and I feel like that's a good start. Enough talking from me. Those are all the books that I own. I'm actually going to Barnes & Noble today to buy two more because I've seen them everywhere and I feel like it's time to read them, even though they're not in the genre that I love reading, which is romance, which is The Six of Crows and Shatter Me. So I hope I like them. We're gonna find out. Those will be added to my collection very soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more for way in the future, and I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye!